Welcome back, Quillapack, to another ClickTeam tutorial. Today we will be going over how to set up the Android exporter. Um, you need two additional files in order for it to work properly, and I already have those files installed because it literally took like three hours to install them. This looks like it will be a whole day process. But, I'll explain that later. The first thing you need is um, the Java SDK from Oracle. The current platform is 9, so you'll go to Oracle's website, which I'll have linked below. I'll actually link it directly to this uh, website. That way you only have to accept the license and download what you need. Um, this is for the Windows version, unfortunately. I do not have the Mac version of ClickTeam, nor the Android exporter. So I don't know how Wine works or anything. Um, you'll download this, go through the install wizard, and I believe it directs itself where it needs to go. And then the other thing is, I have this old SDK, uh, Android SDK, which makes it easier to install the APIs that you need for ClickTeam to build APKs, which, a lot of acronyms, I know. Um, I'll be sharing this down below. It is another EXE for an installer, and I'll jump over to the installer. Okay, now this is what the SDK manager looks like. It makes it easy to install all the packages. Um, if I uncheck this, you see a lot of them disappear. That's because I already have them installed. Like I said, it took a while to get them all installed. Um, the only things that you are going to need... Let me close all these real quick. Okay, so what you need are these two tools. You have to check them. Um, and I support back to Android Lollipop. Um, I did I did look it up, like I said I was going to do. About 1% of people are using API 26 and 27, which is Android Oreo. And then roughly 60% are still using Nougat, which is uh, anything with the 7, so 25 and 24. Or Marshmallow, which is 23. Um, since that's only 61%, I go ahead and go back to Android API 21, which is Lollipop. That way I can get as much as I can in there. Um, I also install the extras. I believe that the Google Play services will be needed if you buy the $50 add-on from the Click Store to have those types of achievements and things of that nature. I don't have it, so I actually don't know what's in there. Um, that's pretty much it. After you install that, we can hop over, like, over to Click Team, and I'll show you how that is directed. Okay, now over in Click Team, you want to go to Tools and Preferences. Um, over in general, you should have your exporters where you'll need the uh, Android exporter. And the only two things that you need to direct the path to are the JDK, which was the first thing that uh, you should have installed from this tutorial. Excuse me. And then the Android SDK, which is from the SDK manager, this with all the APIs. And you should be able to link that from your C folder, as you can see. Um, the JDK should be in your program files, Java JDK. The uh, SDK and all those add-ons should be in the program files, Android SDK. And then you can build. Um, pay attention to your minimum targets, because um, right now it says 2.3, which I don't remember the platform version that is, but... We, I personally installed from Android 5.0, which is Lollipop. Um, click the newest installed SDK API. Uh, I have 26 because I don't have the Android P preview installed. Don't need it because I'm, no one has Android P yet. And then there's just other settings, like you have to make sure you uh, change your package name to have your company, or be specific to your company, and, uh, your game, like for me, it will be net dot quill studio dot my game because I own the domain quill studio dot net. Um, I will probably be making a keystone or a release video later. Uh, Click Team has published a tool that makes that easy for you to create. There is display settings if you want portrait mode or landscape. Uh, if you want it to be able to change by itself, you can use automatic. And then a whole bunch of permissions. 
Uh, version code is important when you're updating. You always want to increment your version code by one. That way you do not throw, or the Google developer console does not throw a fit about it. Um, and then version number is just personally for you. Like, say you have a patch, it'll go up to like 1.1, but if you have a redesign or something like that, it'll go to 2.0. And I think that's all. Um, these are a lot of permissions, and those will be based um, on your game. For example, um, if you use your cell phone or a call phone, like if you were to read logs or use that to call people, you have to check that. Or if you use your camera, kind of like in Pokemon Go with the uh, augmented reality, you will need the camera permission. Um, next week, I hope to have a Firefly tutorial. It will be the Xbox One controller. Um, basically first person movement, but controlled with the Xbox One controller. And eventually I want to revamp that, so it will work with any controller rather than just the Xbox controller. But I haven't got that far yet. So I will see you guys later.